Rashkir on top of an explanation of the four Lachavis of Gula, giving Tasha and Samach, the four.
the kingdom of David and Nana. And they usurped that kingdom and they took it. First was Babel, and from Babel it was transferred to Madai, and from Madai to Yavan, and from there to Edom. Edom, that's today's God. Babel, we had Yeshua from. Madai and Yavan, we had Yeshua from. With Malchai and uh, the Hashmonaim. And today we're in Golis Edom. Edom is a conglomeration. It, it, it's all the, all the Umais of Europe, which means America also, because America originates from Europe. These, the, the Christian, uh, the Christian uh, countries, these are Golis Edom. And uh, that's Asa. A Malik. And we're in their goddess today, yet, for almost 2,000 years, 1930 years already. And this is the most difficult goddess. It's difficult with that, the, the uh, Indian of the severity of the goddess and also the length of the goddess. Baba was only 70 years. Uh, Murdai is some 50 years, Yava, 80 years, but Edom is almost 2,000 years already. That's a very terrible goddess, and it's an endless goddess. It's the most difficult goddess. These four goddesses are uh, symbolized in the four highest mayas which we have in Pasha Shemini and also in Pasha Sa'ay. The Gamo, the Shafa, the Anedas, and the Chaza. The Chaza, that's Esau, like Pasha says in Pasha Sa'ay. And uh, the Chaza is the worst. That's God is Edek. So in, in Pasha, in Pasha the A, where the Tzayra again tells us about the Chayas, the, the Chayas Tzmeyas, and we shouldn't eat these four Chayas, even though they have a little sign of Kashe. So over here, the Tzayra tells us, Achazer leisaychu, memali ageiru mimasisi apata, vesagama vesanevis vesashatam. And the next part of the kids, the Yasa Chazia. The Chazia, that's God of Edom. So the Medrash asks, why is it that the first three Chayas uh, that um, symbolize the first three Malchayas are in one person? And for Esa Chazia, we have a new person. The Yasa Chazia, a new person. If there's three chayas in one pasuk, why didn't the Taiva already say that's a chazir and the fourth is the same pasuk? So the mother says as a chazir is 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 uh, has a distinction that it's in a pasuk by itself because it's shaku connected to them. It's the worst of all of them put together. Edain is the worst. So now. Uh, that's what uh, 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 everything is the word. So, the same thing. Uh, so, it's an aesthetic classic by itself. You have that also in the Zemirites uh, of Barashem Yanyan. You have all the goddess from there. Everything is connected to Kubla. So in the other countries that we have, the same thing happens over again. You have, before the shininess of the Ula, are the Tauti, the Gaalti, um, right, Saisi, the Tauti, the Gaalti, and one person. And the next person is, for the Kachti Asmali in the Yam, the fourth case. 
fourth case that connected the issue of Ngolus Evan. So that's why it's not perfect by itself. Because the Shadu connected Fulam. Connected Fulam. So it's not perfect by itself. But the Kachi Elchim of the And the fourth case is the most impressive case. And over the fourth case, we say Halay. The Halay is the Yeshua of the Earth of Love. In, in the, the Agada talks about the issue of Pesach Mitzrayim. But Halel is Pesach Laos. That's the fourth point. So that's why in the Agada we break up the Halel and uh, the first two Kapitlach of Halel is uh, we say before we eat the Masa. Because the first two kapitlach, especially the second one, but says he's from me Mitzrayim, speaks about Mitzrayim. So it doesn't belong to the fourth case. It belongs before. It belongs by the second case, by the Agad. But, um, but uh, uh, when we come to the fourth case, we start with Hallelujah, Shira, the Shem, Shechad, I'll just start again, but other, and you already speak about the last of the fourth cut, the Golakachti, which is the fourth cut. And this week's Sadra, we have the seven markets. The next Sadra, Pasha's Bari, we have three markets. I'll, um, I'll go into a deep Indian. It's a venture. And I hope that you will, uh, be, you will absorb it. There are Asara Mamalas with which the Rabbi Shalom created the world. And it starts with Bereshis. Ten times it says by Yaina, by Mindset Bereshis. And the Gemara Asakash it says nine times. The Gemara answers Bereshis Nami Maima. Bereshis is also a Maima. The word Bereshis is a Maima. Because you can't have by Yaina as the first word in the Torah, because speech is also a Bria from the Rabban Mishraim. So by the first Maimah, there was no speech yet. So it can't say by Yom. So you have Breshis, the root, the beginning, the genesis, the Reishis. In the Aster of Sadebris, we have a Neuch Hashem Melekecha, Asher Tisich Emeret Mitzrayim. And this is the mitzvah of Elul, to believe in the Rabbi Mishraim. Why doesn't it say, A Neuch Hashem Melekecha, Asher Brasich, that I created you? The Rabbi Shalom is introducing himself. I am the Rabbi Mishraim. He should say, Asher Brasich, that I created you. That I created my Tishamayim for others. Why does it say Asher Tzich and Yeras Mitzrayim? The Tzadat says, as I said, that the Rabbi Yishlana wants to introduce himself. So, if the Rabbi Yishlana introduces himself that he is the one that we know him, that he took, that he created the world, we didn't see the Bria Sayyidim, we didn't see the world's creation. But we did see Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. In Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, the Rabbani Yishalayim made a copy of Bria Sayyidim. Everything that went into Bria Sayyidim went into Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. So because by Bria Sayyidim there was a Sarah Mamari, so by Yetzirah Mitzrayim, there's also a Saramak. And like the Chetoshi Yerim puts it, the Rabbani Shemarim took 
and he was mevar of them, he proved it to the Yasser Marcus, and then he transformed them into the Yasser Sadibra. Now, the Yasser Mamara is the, today there's a big style uh, that, you know, Jews have to learn Kabbalah. No, they give, uh, they write books on Kabbalah and on uh, the and that don't know Benjamin and the Smaila go to courses in Kabbalah. And the Mahmoud of Narish, they don't know what to fly. You can't learn Kabbalah unless you understand very well Gemara with Taisvis and the Shine and the Then you first could have, you, you can't grasp it otherwise. As a pundit, you probably know that in Kabbalah there's a concept called esosphere. Well, we won't talk about it. I don't know anything about the story, but we're going to reduce it into something more simple, something that we could, that we have contact with. We'll call, we'll call the other spheres the Asura Mamaris, because actually the other spheres are the source of Briyas Oilam, of the Asura Mamaris. And Asura Mamaris, even children in the Chayda learn. So we're going to talk about the Asura Mamaris. Um, you say sphere. Those of you who have a Chassidah Shishuru, know that in the seven weeks of Sphira, we, uh, each week is corresponding to one of the Midas, and we have to be in the sack of that Midas. Chesed, Rula, Kefaret, Metza, Hoi, Besaid, Malthus. Well, uh, these are Midas. We have to, uh, we have to purify our Midas, and uh, we have to have uh, uh, exemplary Midas, uh, chesed do good and don't use chesed for bad, like araya is and such things. Chesed means ab. Kivuva, the second week we have to be in the shah to Kivuva, the seras, nasa. All right. These are the seven days of the week that the Banish tried to make Ayram Hazel with. And there's three higher ones that are above that. That's the Malam and the Makim and the Malam and the Malam. That's Kasa Chasma Bina. But they're not Midas. These are Malikim. So we don't deal with them in the sphere of time. So Rabbi Nishraim created the world with these Asara Mamalas. And we, and we didn't see the Asara Mamalas. We weren't present at Briyas Ayla. But the Rabbani Shem showed us Briyas Oilam again in the Tzrayim. All the Asara Mamarais are duplicated in the Asar Marcus. But backwards. As I mentioned, the first Maimah is the word Breshe. Reishis means the beginning. So, the Rebbe shall send down the market to prove that one of, that he created the world with the first Maima, Reishis. But as I told you, it goes back. So if you want to find the first Maima in the Asura market, you have to go to the last marker. The last marker is marker society. The righteous. Like David the Malach puts it in Tehillim, when, when he speaks about marker society, so he says, who were smitten? Righteous Einman, the Admat, righteous Einman, the Admat son. The righteous. The first child, that's the righteous. And the right, and, 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 <coughs> The Mitzrayim, they worshipped Reishis. 
So therefore, the Rabbi deserves it as the sheep, like you have in Parshas Vayigash. Kitayavas Mitzrayim Kalvayetzan. Every Chaydesh has a mazel. A certain mazel, uh, we call it uh, in the guy who called the Zodiac, um, the 12 mazalites that govern the 12 Chadashim. So, we know, everybody knows about one mazel, that mazel Adel Zodiac. And when it comes to in time, uh, so the the Chaver of the Shvitzel is starting to put up signs in this madrash with fish. Mazel Adol Zodim. Well, every Chaydesh has a mazel. You probably know that Mazel Tishrei is my name. A scale. Because among the Gayim, they haven't for Kabbalah yet from Anayach. Among the Gayim, the symbol of justice is a scale. Justice. Ignite. Well, the mantle of Nisan is Tula, a sheep. And that was the Abedazar of Mitzrayim. And being that Tula is the beginning of all the Mazalites, because Nisan is Reish Kadoshim, so they worship Tula. So we, the Ra'evish self, um, was Mavatul. The Abay the Zara of Mitzrayim, the Reishis of Mitzrayim, Mazel Nisim Tuleh, and Kar Alahay Mitzrayim and Fishfartim, and he killed the Bechayim of Mitzrayim. To show, I am in charge of Reishis, and when I want, I destroy Reishis. I, I made Reishis, and when I want, I destroy Reishis. But concurrently, when as I mentioned before, every matter was a refuah to the Eden. So the distinction of the Nibachayri Yisrael surfaced with Makas Bachayri. Like when the Rebbe says, the Nibachayri Yisrael, in Yani Hayri is Bincha Bachayracha. Because the, 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 the ratios of Mitzrayim was smitten, so therefore the erasures of Yisrael was elevated and it came to the surface, the Neva Chayli Yisrael. Then the Rabbani Shalom wanted to show that he created the world with the second Maimah. The second Maimah of Reishis is the first time that it says by Yoyimah, by Yoyimah of Akim Yehi Oyim. So if we want to find the marker which corresponds with Yehi Oyim, we have to go to the ninth, which is second from last. The ninth, the ninth marker was Chayshas. The Rebbe says, I created oil. And you're going to have Chayshas. I'm, destro- I'm, I'm destroying the oil which I created for you. But by the Eden, the Rebbe was full. We'll hope in Israel, how you are by my choice. The third, the third ma'ima is Sayyayna Lakim Yirakiya. Let there be a heaven. Taibisha created the heaven. So, uh, and, 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 and that heaven will be um, in the Rakiya Shemayim, it will shine, and the Ma'iris will shine, will shine down from heaven. Why are the Ma'iris the Kiya Shemayim? The concept that we have of the heaven is the Ma'iris, the sun, the moon, the planets, that, that they are mashpia. They, they, they give forth uh, their presence and their kaychais in this world. So if you, what the, 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 uh, the ace market, which corresponds with the Yerikiya, that was our the, Albert is well, you can hear it, says the other. The Abisha made it dark, they couldn't have the Rakia. That was the market. I can't elaborate. We can go through all the ten markets and show you how in each one of these ten markets, the Rabbani Shredder introduces himself as the one who made the Asala Mamari. And 
I made the Israel and my Maris, I did them, and I undo them for the Mitzrayim. May they not have the pleasure and, and, and the benefit of the Israel and my Maris with which I created the world. On the other hand, the Yidin do get the benefit and in, in, in still in, in, a, in a more in, 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 in a more amplified way. More than that yet. So now these seven mamaras, these ten mamaras, being that it was ten makas, we have them in our Seder table. And so we have the Zraya Beitza Mare. Raisa in the center. The six minim, and then the Tanakaira on the on the dish, which is the seventh. And under that are the three masses. Together there's ten. If you look in any Haggadah that cost more than a dollar seventy five, <clears throat> you will see that near Maria you have the word chesed. Near Zraya you have the word Buddha. You have all the three looks there, you have all the meat there. And the kaira, the plate, is malchus. So that's why, uh, that's why in Baruch you have a silver kaira, uh, because it's malchus. And uh, so speak of one of that, that you have a silver kaira, because it represents malchus. But in Baruch Hashem, they very much have that. And um, underneath are the three matters, and you can have Ketachach Ravina or Kayan Levi Yisrael, which means the same thing. You have the ten matters on, on the side, on the front of you, with the mean. So, first you have the seven, and it finishes off with Malchus, and then you start the three that are on top, the three matters. In the center of the Marcus, it is also the same way. Dumb with chesed. Now the cloud is that water is chesed. Mayim is chesed. Um, the Rabbeinu Shreidim, the way I'm going to finish, the Rabbeinu Shreidim created the world in this world not the upper world, but this world, in seven days. Chesed, Gula, Teferas, Nesachet, Yisrael, Malchus. Which means Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday, and Shabbos. Shabbos, obviously, is Malchus. You dance to Yisrael, Kul, and Malchus, on Shabbos. Shabbos is, Shabbos is called Malchus. Shabbos is Malchus. And, um, being that it's small, so so the the the, the first so it, it, and the, when Shabbos is ushered in, we take a pistol of the Mizmor the David, which has the seven kailas, and each one is connected one of the seven midas. So the first one is Malchus. Uh, excuse me, Chesed. Water is Chesed. So that's why the first, the first one is chesed, kaila shamala mayim, mayim is chesed. The second one is gvura, kaila shamba kayach, kayach is gvura. The third one is tefedes, harmony, beauty. The third one is kaila shamba hazel, harmony, beauty, and so on. So you have all the seven midas in this mother The first one is done of the Marcus because Chesed is water. So the Bani Shalom says, I created water. That was the, that, in, in my Asada Mamaris. 
So therefore, if I created water, I'm going to take away your water. And the Eden did have water, and they got rich from that water, like the mother said. They sold the water. Uh, and the seventh one is bothered. Being the seventh one is bothered, so the seventh one is Shabbos of the Mitzrayim. And let's put it this way it destroyed their Malchus. And when Yidin was Zeichet to them. Now, um, we find something very interesting by the Torah. Hayari is Tvar Hashem Yavdei Pare. Heinus is Avada Vas Mikneu El Habayus. The Abish has said, I'm going to pour down and it's going to rain with blood. And I am cautioning you. Bring your livestock into the house. Because whatever is going to be outside will, will be destroyed. So the Pasuk says, I yari as Dvar Hashem, the one who was a yari Dvar Hashem. He brought his uh, livestock and, uh, and brought them into the house. So the bullet didn't kill them. But at that bell, there was also the same thing that she said. That those which were brought into the house weren't destroyed by the devil. Because otherwise, where did they have animals by the brother from? So, the Shaila is, why doesn't it say Ayari is the Bara the Shamba the Jerba? The same thing the way it says by the Bhagavan. And then we have another Kasha. It says in the Madrash that the worst one of the best one of the Mitzrayim. It is worth is worth to be killed because by Kriyas Yamsuf it says that Kosos Vesh of Pare the Yisusim came came pursuing after the Yidden by the Yamsuf. Where did they have Susan from? They all got killed out by the Bavel. So the mother says from the Yari Devar Hashem. Those were Yari Devar Hashem. They were afraid and they believed Meish Rabbeinu. And, and, and they rescued uh, the, their animals from the bird by bringing them into the house, these are those who went with the system to pursue the evil of the time. So you see that, that the best one the Mitzrayim is, is, is a Russia. Russia brings it. From the other Russia. Now, how is possible? They were Yari Tavar Hashem, but the title says that Yir Hashemai. How comes that say, how comes that, that, that say, by, by, by Kiyos Yamsuf, they went after the Eden? Where was the Yir Hashemai? What happened to the Yir Hashemai? They didn't stop, you know, like, like when somebody writes in the site, or so, so, Narabha, Goyen, Agoda, or uh, uh, Yir Hashem, Yir Hashemai, you know. Do you know who called them Yari Dvar Hashem? The Torah Dvar Hashem. The Torah gave them the distinction of being called Yari Dvar Hashem. If the Rabbi Nishraida would come to me and tell me, you are a Yari Dvar Hashem. Wow. They would have called me Yari Dvar Hashem. I would have a big button over here, Yari Dvar Hashem. They would have called me Yari Dvar Hashem. It's a distinction. And the Rabbi Yishkarim knows. So the Rabbi Yishkarim would call by ear that says Yerei Hashem, the Zohar Meira, a distinction. The Rabbi Yishkarim would call him Yari Dvar Hashem if they're really the Shoyim at the core and they went by Kriyas Yamsuf to pursue the Yid. And they weren't Yari Dvar Hashem. What happened to the year to the year of Shemaya? Uh, 
בעצם, the Madras says that at the end of the service, when the Barat came down, so, uh, so Pari came running, and he said, Chatosi Aplam, Hashem at Tzadik, Bani Biyami HaRashoyim, Hatir Lal Hashem, please beg the Rabbani Shreva, let him stop that Barat. So Moshe Rabbeinu went out, and he was and he raised his hands to the Rabbi Yisrael and that raised his cap, and he and he interrupted the, the, the course of the bullet right in the middle. But there was still bullet coming down. So what happened to the bullet that that came down? So the poetic says, the umato leinisach also. The matter did not reach the ground. When Maish Rabbeinu was in the Spalayim, so that Bogot, which was still in heaven, remained suspended. It didn't go back into heaven, but it didn't come down to the ground. It remained suspended. So the mother says that this, some of that Bogot came down when Yeshua had the Muhammad of Salam at Aleph Mullah. And the rest of that will come down by Muhammad's Gaigul Magai. Before Mashiach comes, there'll be a Muhammad, and the guy will go on Yerushalayim, and the servants say that they're going to be, want to be Aika the Amunah, like they do that, like they do in 2000. They're coming to, to, to Yerushalayim, and the, or the missionaries are bringing them along, they want to be Aika the Amunah, and we have a Muhammad with them. That's the Pnimi of the Gemulchama. The, the physical Mulchama probably will also be, we don't know. And that's the Mulchama's Gaidu Mulchama. So that Borod, which remained suspended and didn't come down in the Tzrayim, because Maisha Rabbeinu interrupted it, that Borod will come down by Mulchama's Gaidu Mulchama. And you have it in the Psukim, that the Rabbani Shlom will rain upon the Mitzrayim uh, with the stones, with stones, Avni al which are the, uh, which are the Sharayim of the Maka of the Baba. <clears throat> so, and the, the Sadam explained that the Ika Machan is Gaigo Mazay is not going to be the is the physical Mulchama. It will be the Ruchni of the Mulchama. There will be a Mulchama against Amunah, against believing in Rabban Yisrael. And the Gemara says in Baruches that David HaMalach made capital based in Tehillim about Mulchama's Gaidu Mulchama. Lama Rakshu Gaim, and you know the Adil Vik. Why are the Gaim so, so, so excited about it? You see, I, well, why did it blow the trumpets when the year 2000 comes? You see, I'm so much here, it's the the your gang and God, Allah, Hashem, the al against the Rabbani Shalom and against the coming of Mashiach. It's a Muhammad Kagan and Muna. And Yahisha Vishmayim Yisra, Hashem Yisraelim, Rabbi Shal, last of them, all the Adabar Alayim may be, Apoy, Ubaharayim, Ayyavarayim. <laughs> That's the Muhammad Gaibu The Muhammad against the Muhammad. And actually, the Buddha, as I mentioned before, is the Maka which corresponds with the seventh day. Shabbat. And um, Shabbos is Yirat Shemayim. The Gemara says, the Zohar Lachem Yirat Shemayim. That's on Shabbos. For Yirat Shemayim. Because Yirat Shemayim is Malchus. We accept the Malchus of the Rabbanish, where in the seventh day, 
So that's why when Friday night comes and Shabbos comes, we say, From Shabbos we have Yira Shemayim. The Zayat says, the word Bereshis, the six Aishiyas of Bereshis, is Maram is also on Shabbos. But Bereshis is the Aishiyas, if you, you rearrange the Aishiyas, you have Yore Shabbos. Have Yira Shemayim on Shabbos. The fun of Nabat the Yira Bafar. So, when Shabbos, when the Barat came, Actually, it rains down with Yerach Shemayim. That was the problem. Yerach Shemayim. To such a degree that even the Mitzrayim were able to get Yerach Shemayim. And certainly the Yid, it rains with Yerach Shemayim. It rains with Baruch. It's a Shabbos bigger one. And that's why every the, uh, every Maka came in a certain Chaydish. The Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar and the Ramban talk about it. So Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar has a Chaydish. It's a little different than the Ramban. And like this Chaydish, the Barat started on Rosh Chaydish Shabbat. And Shabbat is Shabbat. Shin Beis and the text uh, is... is um, Mishale for Patah, Shabbos. In, in fact, phonetically, it's like like his father would say Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbos. Uh, so it has a shaykhus with Yirat Shemay. So therefore, when the when once Meish Rabbeinu uttered the words of the Atzvah of the Barat. Already here, Shemayim started flowing down on the world. So that's why, by the Makkah's brother, you have a Yore and Tzadar Hashem. They were afraid of Rabbi Hashem. They had the distinction of being a Yere Shemayim. But not because they were intrinsically Yere Shemayim. Because when the brother stopped, they lost the Yere Shemayim. So that's why they pursued after the Yid. By Yamsa. But it rains down with Yerat Shemayim. If that Barat would have not been interrupted, so much Yerat Shemayim would have come down upon the world that it would have brought to the Oyam HaTik, to Mashiach. There would never have been any Gomez anymore. But alas, Ari said, please stop this Barat. And Moshe Rabbeinu had to listen to Matiya Dibba. Because the, or the purpose of the market was to make Pari change his mind. Once he changes his mind, Moshe Rabbeinu must, must stop. So it's just like they did by the Tzadzei and by the Ori. When Pari came running and said, I can't take it, I'm going to let the Yidin out, Moshe Rabbeinu stopped the market. Here, Moshe Rabbeinu had to stop the Dibba. Alas, Chaval. Because if he wouldn't have stopped the brother, he would have had the Eilam Matik. Everything but the pure world of before, of before he has a brother Malish. So that's why after Maish Rabbeinu said, I'm going to stop the brother, so Sayyim Rayyad of Maish. It says he is the ear, every is copy of Hashem, a tire is here to the brother, the brother, the brother, the man says to give the Shem Ovid, the Yaakov Avodecha Yedaiti, he tear and tear in the Pnei Hashem Alekin. You don't have any more Yerat Shemayim. You're losing your Yerat Shemayim. So that's why the, the Barat had his time. Pavel couldn't say it. So, so, when we know that when Mashiach will come, before that, there'll be a Melchemist Geigel market. And whatever rocks and stones and, and, and chunks of ice that didn't come down by the Barat, that's going to come down by Melchemist Geigel market. And um, 
everything has a ruch in this. It means the mechama against malchus shemayim, the mechama against amuna. That, that's what mechama is going to So the Gemara tells us that whoever keeps the free food of Shabbos is in the desire to be nitzel from free deeds. From Chagalai Mashiach, Dina Shal Gehenim, and Mulchem is Gaibu Magik. So the Svarim explains the Gemara that Friday night, the Suda of Shabbos saves us from the, from the Chagalai Mashiach. The Suda Shabbos in the morning saves us from Dina Shal Gehenim. And Shabbos Shabbos saves us from Mulchem is Gaibu Magik. The Mechemes Geigel Magag is a Mechem against the moon, like it says in the second capital in Tehillim, and the Gemara says that goes a Mechemes Geigel Magag. It's a Mechem against the moon. So that's why they shall be sure I don't know how you do it in your shul, but in very many Hasidic shuls, the meaning is that you eat shall be sure in the dark, without any light. Because we're in the dark. And in the dark, we accept a moon. The monastra balayla. In the dark of the night, when we don't see anything, we still hold on to a moon, we believe. For the same reason that when we say Shmai is trail and, and we cover our eyes, it's a moon. We cover our eyes. Without seeing, I believe in the Rabbi Nishle. Even if I don't see, even if I don't see the greatness, even the Rabbi Nishle doesn't appear to me showing, uh, exposing himself that he is the master of the Bria and the conductor of what he appears in the world. I believe that we close our eyes and cover our eyes by Shema Yisrael. And by Shabbat Shabbat, we also cover our eyes by not having the lights on. It's a movement. And, uh, and Shabbat Shabbos saves us and protects us from Melchem is Gaibu the Melchem against Amun. As I told you, the Ikel Zach of the Melchem is Gaibu Magad against the Moon of Dachimel, the Goyim are making a Melchem Melchem against the Moon. The, 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 um, uh, the, the Catholic Church, I told you, is spending a hundred million dollars for missionary work in Eretz Yisrael alone. And they have good work. And in America, here in New York, in Borough Park, in Flatbush, there are nests of missionaries. Hashem is they, they take kids in the street. And I offer them hundred dollars, come with me. And they teach in Christianity. There are a lot of organizations now that are trying to combat them. But this is a Muhammad against the movement. We're, we're experiencing, experiencing it now. That's a Muhammad's guy going like that. And the Suda of Shabbat. I shall be sure. Say you got some Muhammad Gai Gumaka. That's the thing. What does it mean? A moon. Blind a moon. Even if I don't see. Hold on to a moon with tooth and nail. It's hard. The Nisyanis are terrible. The whole world is one arena of Apicos. Everybody is Apicos. Well, it wasn't that way ever. Gayim always believed. They, they had the church, that they had the beliefs, they had morality, at least on the surface. What did it, Bechabi Chedar Amara, that's their business, at least for the, for the belt. As I told you, uh, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, when I was about your age, no guy would ever venture and dare to go out in the summertime, not dressed, 
the way a, the way a human being is supposed to be dressed. It's All the inyanim of emuna is is being cast off today by the goyim. They don't believe. And this is the world that we live in. And, and these are the people that we have to rub shoulders with and hold on to a movement. This is the Mohammed's Gaiko Right now, to a degree, you're being protected. You're in the yeshiva. But not the way it used to be. Because today, the Mechemes Geig or Mergeig is invasive. It came into our homes through the TV, through the radio, through the newspapers, through the uh, uh, internet, Hashem Yishmerenu. It comes into our homes. It's a Meredika Mechemes. They gained a lot of ground. They have invaded into our homes. And it's a mile to come also. So, when this shot is coming, you should know that remaining seven matters, a moon, which finishes off with Barat, the Mechem is going And a yid has to draw a moon and chizuk from learning the Parsha. If you learn the Chumash with Rashi, with Samban, with Mephoshim, you're going to become imbued with the Tzchaskas, the Tzchizuk in the moon. And, uh, well, according to Beishamah, it's a Shoshan Le'il and Beishai Beishvah. The field of says it's Hamisha Sabishma. But when Mashiach will come, we'll pass on like Beishamai. So it's already, uh, uh, Shanali Elam means that, uh, uh, the, the Elam uh, means the, that the Yiddish tree will blossom. Ki Adam ate a servant. The Gemara says that Adam is like a, uh, like a ace. Ki may a ace, ye may an. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very special Rashkaidish, Rashkaidish word. And Rashkaidish word, Maish Rabbeinu started learning the title of the Yid. And he started writing the Seif of the Dragon. And it didn't get out of the title because he knew that in Rashkaidish word, even that's the time which is Mesudu, that's when the, when the, when the Barat came down. So you have to work on the moon and on Taiva. So, like the person says, in the, the Sayyidah of the the Ash, the Ash, in the 40th year, the Ash, the Asa Chaydish, in the 11th Chaydish, that Shvat, the Ash, Chaydish, the 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 Rashkaidish word is the time to be mechadic yourself and make new takanas in learning Tayyim. Because that's when Maish Rabbeinu started telling us the Chazaras HaTayyim, Mishnah Tayyim, and the, the Sefer of Malchus, which is the Sefer of Ver. So it's, uh, it's, uh, this Shabbos is a very, very special Shabbos. Kaidim Kalat Shabbos. Then it's Rashkaidish word. Then it's According to Beishami, it's Hashashan Eli'ilam. And even according to Beishilayl, everything that goes on in the Chaydish is rooted in the Reish Chaydish. Just like everything that happens in the year is rooted in the Reish Hashanah. So you have it, this is a special Shabbos to be the Kabbal of Malchus Shemayim, to be a Yari of the Bar Hashem, and to benefit from the reign of the Muna the reign of Barad, the reign of Yirat Shemayim and Ayo Malchus Shemayim, which comes pouring down upon every deed 
who learns this shahid and listens to Chia Satayim on this shahid. I give the shahid. I give the shahid. But I share the topic of...